Oop. All right, there we go. So, oh, welcome back. Uh, I was about to start running back towards uh, where we need to go. So, cool. I returned to the bedroom. Beverage. Uh, what'd you get? I got a amaretto and coke with a cherry in it. Hell yeah. Yeah, so you're returning to Fire Lake. Yeah, I'm on I'm on the road. I just need to remember where my fucking humanity and souls went. If I uh, remove all this heavy shit, do I run faster or no? Slightly. Yeah, I believe your base movement speed is a little bit increased if you're in the, war in the fastest roll of tier. But in the, in the time it would take me to go in the menu and take all this off, it wouldn't really help, would it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, light doesn't really change much. If the you're like a big boy fat deer, then maybe. Yeah. Uh, do blur blooming purple moss clumps, uh, do those get rid of poison? Uh, those r get rid of poison and toxic. Okay, then I'm I good. Think they get rid of both. If not, then they get rid of toxic. Well, I hope they get rid of both. Whereas the just regular purple moss gets rid of poison. Just gotta tough it out. All right, just so, just so you know, it gets rid of both. Cool. Like that big axe. Oh, big axe boys feels good. I'm telling you, dude, feels good to just have big boy status. I hit you once and you die. That's it. Dark Souls Two and onwards has a slew of gigantic big boy two hand weapons. Ooh, hell yeah. You know, the first game had a couple, but like even the great sword wasn't. Well, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Did you see that? You're a ninja. Did you, can we clip that? That was fucking hype. Let's go. Oh, now I'm dead though, because I can't get down. Reload clip. <laughs> yeah, there's an entire like speed run kind of thing, like walking off the edge in such a way that you hit all those like raptor kind of scaffold pieces all right so i could homeward bone right and or could i you think i could make this fall uh, i don't think so at least mm. but then i have to run all the way back Fuck it. I'm just gonna homeward bone. <sighs> oh, where did I put my phone? Hey, somewhere. Bye. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. <sighs> it it would just it would suck to lose all the souls and stuff, you know? So in the humanity. Oh, the humanity. I'm the first person to ever make that joke. First one ever. Never died in Dark Souls either. Mm -hmm. Death Loops Mine. Sponsored by Gladbag. Yo, sponsored by Gladbag! Let's bring that back! Let's go! That's an old joke. Holy shit. Yep. I haven't thought about that one in a while. I wonder if I still follow them on Twitter. Hey, glad bag at me sponsor sponsor me i will push people to buy your products i can guarantee for a nominal fee of dollars 
that I will at least twice per stream talk about your product. You know what? I'll even film a commercial for you. Just the entire movie. <laughs> I'll film an entire commercial and I'll air it twice per stream. You just got to hook me up. Even if you didn't, that's fine. Okay, let's go back. Yeah. Get on Ninja Run. Well, I'm just taking this guy with me now. <laughs> Join me, friend. To adventure. <laughs> Let us kill your friend. And now you're both dead. So they couldn't just put a real elevator here? Nope. That would be as fun. <laughs> fun? I don't know about that. If there wasn't a real, or if there wasn't a real elevator, then you couldn't have gotten that clip. That's true. But then again, I, then again, I technically didn't want the clip <laughs> because then that means I would have just been safe. All right, let's get the fuck out of this place. I need uh need that small video of a dog where it's like, get the fuck out of here. And then, <laughs> puts his hand in the mouth. Yeah, puts his hand in the mouth and just like. <laughs> It's such a good clip. So uh, that area you're in is, I believe, where there's a bonfire keeper soul. Ooh. Unless you already got it. You uh, got at the bottom. Maybe? That sounds familiar. It's that, like, tunnel that you went into with all the blue dark guys. Yeah. I'm just wondering how to get, how to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's probably the more important or the pressing matter. Oh, okay. Here, here we go. Ladders blend in. Can't see shit in this house. That's what the torches are for. Oh, I didn't even notice those. Yep. Now I know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure every torch in Blight Town is supposed to be like, there's a ladder here. Unless there's like two or three that are just hanging out. Onward. Although I'm not going to fuck with these guys. Yeah, you can just sprint past them. Oh, there's your uh, Here, I'm not, I'm not, not risking shit. <laughs> there we go. Onward and upward. Is uh, your mic a little quiet? It's a little harder to hear you tonight. Alright, how about now? Ah, much better. Thank you. Just have to increase input volume. God, get smacked, you ugly. <laughs> the like paint me like one of your French girls hollow. <laughs> There's usually like some kind of message next to it, like gorgeous view. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I love how there's a lot of like messages that people placed in certain areas that have become their own memes. Mm -hmm. Like the amazing chest ahead kind of thing. 
<laughs> See, the Dark Souls community is funny. And not at the expense of people's fun. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of, like, oh yeah, Dark Souls is super hard and stuff, and the world's unforgiving. But honestly, I think that one of the, like, biggest things this game has going for it is the, what would you call it, the, like, atmosphere of we're all in this, like, terrible area, but we're all in it together. Mm -hmm. Like, you have invaders and stuff, but you've also got, like, all these messages, you got summons. It, like, it's like a cool community thing, yeah. You've got, like, the bell ringing in the background to show that other people are succeeding. You've got people putting messages, like, in boss fight arenas that say, like, I did it, or finally. Nice. Surprisingly wholesome for the Dark Souls community. All right. All right, my humanity is restored. Oh yeah, you should probably talk to Chain Mail Guy. He might have something to say. Oh. Did you really just let him die? Why should you regret it, you nasty? Damn, I have a new problem. Oh no. There's a new problem. Not expressing feelings. This is my. Do you remember that area with all the water? Yeah. Yeah, you might want to check that out. Um, uh, hmm. Wait, area with the water. Oh, the aqueducts? Uh, the area, like, in the church, kind of, like, in Firelink Shrine, where there's the water, and, like, to the left is the graveyard. If you, yeah, go up one of the steps and pass the pyromancy guy. Oh! Who are you, friend? It is I. Hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I am the primordial stone, King Pita Prime. I like the wee ringing of the two bells is what woke him up. Mm. And if you had gone to that area after ringing the first bell, you would hear snoring sounds. Oh, that's cute. Uh, sure. Very well. Then I am pleased to share my chosen undead. Your fate is to succeed the great Lord Grim, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. Whatever you say, giant draft guy. So if you talk to him again, he'll basically become the Dark Souls equivalent of a Garburator. A what? Which you can give him all of your duplicate items that you don't want in exchange for souls. A uh, feed item? Yep. Yeah, so you can get rid of stuff for a small amount of souls. Cool. What should I get rid of? If you have, like, a bunch of broken weapon hilts or, like, hollow armor that you're not going to wear. Um, it's mainly... Oh, like, like, like weapons and stuff that I'm not going to use? Yeah, if you got, like, 15 extra short swords from the Killing Hollows. You can get a few souls out of it. stuff basically breaks it down into the tier below that one so like feeding him a large titanite shard will turn it into smaller or a bunch of smaller titanite shards uh for the dragon king great axe should i keep that i'd say keep it if you want a big strong weapon yes Titanite shards. 
So keep the battle axe because you said that turns into like a holy weapon later, right? Yeah. I mean, you could turn it into a holy weapon. You could turn anything into one. Mm. As long as it's not a boss weapon. I like to keep one of every weapon and sell duplicates. Yeah. Just to make the menu less cluttered. There, there had to be a faster way to do this, right? One at a time. Gross. Um, with the Titanites, do you think there's anything I would need? Like, the blue one says it reinforces magic weapons, but... Uh, that... No, I think you should be fine. I wouldn't touch that. Oh, okay. Uh, is there anything in like the Titanite menu you think I would, sh I should be getting rid of or no? Nah? Nah. Okay. And then with uh, the large soul or soul of proud whatever, with those, do I get the same amount by using them or? Yeah, you might as well just use them from the menu. Okay. And I'll save those. Um, eye of death. I should keep that right. Gotcha. All right. Farewell, chosen one. Yeah, later, dude. Bye. Okay. So. Um. Now to uh, Onion Man in the Gate. Mm -hmm. All right. Let us move on. Word. I went the wrong way. Word. Word. Word up. <laughs> word. Word up. Alrighty, just hop on over to that elevator, and that gave me a decent number of souls too, that gave me like six and a half thousand. Now, uh, so what was the, there was like a giant guy that like was chained up. He's the one who lifted the gate, right? Like what, what's his deal? Like what, what made him lift the gate? I don't know. Cool. I forget. I mean, I think there's something to do with like, once the bells have been rung, then the person that rung them can like enter the fortress and be tested there. Hmm. Gotcha. That makes sense then. Why that individual giant is there, I don't know. Garch. Well, I'm sure Onion Guy was happy. Yep. Still closed. Still closed. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my God. Get the fuck away from me. Nope. Trying not to die. Yeah, let's see if we can get to the bonfire. There we go. Summoning stealthy. Oh, there you are. Okay, so you're past the bonfire. <laughs> yeah. Oops. All good. Fuck the snake people. Uh, careful, by the way. They're right here. <laughs> yep. Optimal position. Surprise! 
Oh. <laughs> Stealthy, you got him. You got him. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> like that last, like, reaching out, like, uh... yeah. Should have got a soul item there. Ooh. Hell yeah. Onward. So this area is filled with traps, so I'd advise being cautious when you proceed. Nice. Yeah, lock, locking on while fighting on these like kind of areas is very risky because sometimes your camera will make you follow the enemy as they fall off. Oh no! It's very finicky. Understandable. Should be an enemy with a projectile here, so I'll take the lead with my shield. Oh, can I hit it? Yeah, I stepped on a foot plate that's oh. a crossbow bolt from that little hole there. Oh, gotcha. Lots of stuff like that in this zone. Got a large titty knight shard. So I'd watch your step while going forward. Cause oh! <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. I got, I got. How, how do you deal so much damage? I mean, granted, you're like New Game Plus status, right? So. No, I started up a new character, just like you. Oh. Run. <laughs> he went with you? It says I can traverse the fog here. Oh god. Move please, move please, move please. Sorry. Ah boo no Crap. <laughs> I was getting stabbed. <laughs> Man. This game's network is really finicky. They should fix that sometime. Oh yeah. Definitely not a fan of that. Um here I'll I'll do the humanity thing real quick. I'll place my sign in the same place. Okay, on our way back. Ah, what the what the fuck? How'd I get shot? It's a trap. Never mind, I died. Fuck this. Alright. Didn't I didn't know my kick wouldn't work on snake guys. Yeah, they're pretty big. I didn't I thought they were just like kinda bigger boys. Not not like anything too big, you know. I mean, yeah, you, you can backstab them, so I guess they're not too big. Yeah. Uh, shit, I forgot to restore my humanity.
Man, that sucks. I lost all that humanity and the souls. <sighs> I guess it was like a waste of time to sell all those items then. Alrighty. Let's do this again. Well, technically, it's round one because nothing bad ever happened. Disconnect. Yeah, right. What the fuck is shooting me? That's annoying the shit out of me. There we go. Taken care of. You both suck. Alright, there's your symbol. Oh, there goes your symbol. I wonder if it was because I was talking to an NPC. Oh, maybe, yeah. No? I'll go back and place it again. Need miracles. Need thrust. Oh, I just died. Oh! <laughs> Never mind, I'm still alive, but might as well be dead. Oh, great. I love it. I see nothing. Oh, oh there we go. Nice. It just took a second. All right. I'll, I'll run ahead. <laughs> I pushed him off. There we go. I'm back. Welcome back. And the third time to <laughs> and this time Pendulum Tap ah! Oh no. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. It's gonna Yep. And then Careful the Yep, okay. Just so hold on. Order, instead of uh, taking a left and running up, we'll actually basically walk forward and off to a kind of area below. I'll show you. Okay, I was are you, I was about to say, are you asking me to just 
Oh, <laughs> you okay? <laughs> You're just gonna take a drink. It's August. Yeah. Yes. Sweet. Hello. Got some lag going on. Cut. <laughs> Goodbye, Kirby. Oh, it's him. Okay, is that all you had to say? He's got a bunch to say. Ah! Uh, stealthy! Oh. oh man, you should see this. On my end. Is it bad? It's hilarious. <laughs> Oh. So that was the box. Hmm. He looks like he's having a good time. <laughs> Praise the sun. Is that, so is that all we needed to do down here? Yeah, it'd be talk to him, get all of his dialogue, it furthers his story. Okay, gotcha. Or I think at least talking to him. This is a ring. A ring? Steel protection. Nice. That just increases your defense. Nice. So I should warn you that in this room there's a chest that has that mimic in it. Oh, cool. So I would normally just like let you get hit by it, you know, put a little this out. To save time. Yeah, to prevent any future disconnects, you know? Yeah. Should be a room coming up. I'm just gonna heal him. Just gonna throw that on real quick! <gasps> no! I'm I'm trying my best. Okay. I'll, I'll push the rock somewhere else. I'm at the area where that controls it. Now okay. I have to worry about it. All right, I'm at the bottom. There's like a hallway, and I see a chest in there. But I'm not moving my ass a fucking inch because I'm out of Estes. <laughs> How do I heal without Estus? Uh, you can use humanity. Oh, okay. I'll use one humanity. Hey! Alright. Yeah, so I believe there's, there's usually a message around here that says, like, don't do it. Amazing item ahead. Yep. So actually, there is a interesting thing you can do with this. And that is? You know those uh, talisman items that I mentioned that prevent you from healing? Yeah. Buy them. Mm -hmm. If you use them like this... Oh, it just opens it. Yep. And then you can grab the item. Nice! Now can we fight it? Hell yeah. Drop this off. Didn't drop anything. Lame. So for this, uh, once we get to the top of the elevator, we want to get off as soon as possible. Because it'll just continue going forward. Or up. 
backwards. So when will I know when to get off? Oh, okay. It, yeah, it goes further upwards into a pit of spikes. Oh, great. I love it. That's what kind of area this is. Dark Souls? Dark Souls. Does not open from this side. Great. Don't forget if the boulder is coming this way. Doesn't look like it. That's nah, going the other way. Yeah, so this controls which way the boulder goes. So currently it's just going into nothing, so we're safe. Mm -hmm. That's uh, where the Onion Man was. Mm. Actually, I think there's an item that you can get if you drop off a certain way here. Hmm. Ah, there it is, yeah. I believe that's the Shotel item or weapon. It's kind of like uh, her sword. Yeah. Cool. Not good for strength, but I don't know. I can at least get some souls out of it. Yeah. The uh, guy with the orange armor that we killed earlier, or that you killed earlier, to get that ring of favor and protection. Mm hmm. Two of those weapons. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, the big gimmick is that their strong attack ignores shields. Oof, that's rough. I fucking. I hate so much of what this game chooses to be. Yeah, right. <laughs> I forgot it did that. Well, we're here, I guess. Yep. How much humanity you got? I got plenty, so that's fine, but... Uh, just... Just... Life comes at you. <laughs> like a fucking boulder. Yeah, life just never stops coming. It needs to stop. Hit the ground running. <laughs> yeah, don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. Fucking snake bitch. Get out of here. Sexy snakes. Made sure to aggro just one of them, so. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Snacks snacked. And there's your symbol. Yeah, if you want. I mean, I think your great axe blocks like probably 60 or 70%, but 
it's not a pretty good percentage. Yeah, it, it blocks a lot of stuff pretty well, but... But, you know, a sh a sh an actual shield helps, so... So, any reason we don't take these stairs here? Uh, we can't get up to the top if we go up that way. Grotch. Oh, is it perma changed? I think it's stuck on the other one for a bit. It might be changing. Let's go and take the oh, I think I think it's perma. Because it changed the other way to like screw us over before. Ah. I think it might just be that area. Well. You okay? No. Siri, Siri sucks. <laughs> Game's terrible. See, this is arguably worse than fucking Blight Town because in Blight Town, it's only a little bit of damage for a little bit of time, but in this one, it's just like, fuck you. Here's like eight needles in the chest. True souls experience. Yeah, right. Alright, let's kill these fucking shitty snake guys. Get past this shitty bridge area. Not die once, as usual. There we go. I had uh I had the trap kill one of the stake guys. Nice. Um where's your son? Okay. Here, scoot over. I need I might need to see my friend. Hang on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Outside or inside? Inside. Okay. Ah, here we go. I can only be summoned inside the room. Gotcha. Yeah, right. Being invaded. Let's hang out pretty much once we get inside this room. Make sure we can be there when they come. Ah, Mrs. Jordan? I saw a name. So I think they're coming from this way. Nope, they're down here. They're down here. Nice. You're in the wrong neighborhood. Ugh! Get backstabbed! Fuck you, Mrs. Johnson. Your cookie sucked. Hang on. Yahoo! <laughs> there we go. Yeah, right. Hum humanity re acqu required. Acquired. There we go. I can English. Don't oh, fuck me, shitty ass, scythe looking ass. Oh! I just. You know what? Stealthy, we're going to quit playing Dark Souls and we're going to play Tetris for the rest of our lives. We're not playing a 
a game that makes us sad. It's only a game that makes us happy. Maybe some Puyo? Maybe... Maybe a game that doesn't make me want to chuck my fucking computer out the window? It's great. Gonna get my fucking souls back. Not gonna die. Just like usual. I swear to God. <laughs> and fuck Mrs. Johnson. It worked out. Get in my game. Playing video games. <laughs> it also helped that there were two of us, so uh, <laughs> Mrs. Johnson was just trapped between us. Uh, sometimes. Okay, because my attacks don't, so... I'm yeah. I'm using the shield, because usually I have a two-hand to make or kill them, but that's not gonna work. So what happened was, I got, uh, hang on, I'm gonna not get hit by that guy. Uh, I, I got hit by the second one, which knocked me in the path of the first one, and that one punted me like a golf ball. So there's a trap here, so if you want to go forward, I'll block this. Or we can just kill him here. Alright, I'll block I'll press it. You ready? Tactile. Nope. Nope. Just, just hit me already, you piece of shit. There we go. Alright. Onward. Are we? Okay. Let's go. Okay, great. You never know when something might just slap you out of nowhere. <laughs> oh no, trust me. I, I know it can slap me out of nowhere. <laughs> Fucking game. Oh. oh, goodbye, stealthy. Goodbye. Your planet hates you. <laughs> I'll wait for you. Next lift. Yeah, I'll wait for you here. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> All right. Let's uh. take it nice and slow. Okay. Okay. Just just single stone step at a time. Okay. Let's go into the left. All right, there we go. Leave this as progress. It's not gonna smack me in the face again, is it? Christ, this 
song. Hell yeah. Statue. <laughs> Fuck that statue in particular. I'm pretty sure there's a projectile throwing on one of these sides. Ooh. That was too stressful for me. Clean. Yeah. Hell yeah. We clean boys. TM. Nice. Oh, behind us. What the fuck? Why can't I backstab? Were you blocking? Oh, maybe. Maybe I hit it like a little too early. Ooh, large titanite. Nice. Oh, you can see their forked tongue on that corpse. Well, that's cute. Clipping through the bottom of their cheek. Alright, uh, that way or stairs? All right, and I helped. You helped. Okay, this is where the projectile thrower is. Get off of me, you fucking shitty ass. Whatever, we have a friend. Just back up a bit. So I can throw my projectile safely. Okay, that'll take a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Ow. <laughs> we could just run, right? Yeah, but is it dead? Oh, there sure. we go. Well, this sucks. I guess that one recharges? That's weird. It recharges after a couple seconds. There wasn't even anything over here. Here, I can block it for you. Oh. Ah! You fucker! Alright, there we go. So I believe once we exit this... Or enter this room, an enemy will be like throwing giant boulders at us. Oh, great! Oh, back up and let you just poke your head inside and come back in. Oh boy! Okay, 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 okay. No, that, that one in particular is the one that's dropping the ones on us. Yeah. I think at the top of these stairs, there should be like. Yeah. Get away. Well, that's cool. Ah. You can see him up there. Yeah, I think he makes like a wall kind of sound before he throws. I made it. Well, I made it. <laughs> Peace. All right, so I'll just kind of <laughs> let me in. <laughs> let me in. I want to save. No more pain. No more suffering. <laughs> Shouldn't take 
too long now that I remember where everything was. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to use those like souls of a whatever be, right now because I could use a little at least two more levels on my health. Uh, the soul of M moonlight butterfly, or cre it says acquire many souls or create a weapon. Do you think I should hold on to that? Yeah, you might want it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a guy later on that you can give those to to make into boss weapons. All right, I'm giving a big ass boost to my health right now. Nice. And then uh two. Uh, 65 yeah 65 and then I did one in strength which gives me plus four on my defenses and stuff nice. although it has been a while since I upgraded my uh, my endurance so I'll do that instead so I did two in health and one in endurance. Currently killing the chest mage. Oh, nice. So it shouldn't be too far away. Oh, and that's right outside the door where that guy is. I I did it. Trap ahead. <laughs> uh, what was the thing? Is it kindling for the Estus flask? Yep. Yeah, be human too. Yeah, I am human. Um. Actually, I think I'll hold on to it for now. Five is okay. Because the, these snake eyes are fucking shitty. But I could take them down because they actually stagger for my big hits sometimes. Most of my tiny little hammer hits. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't have the big dick energy of your great axe. It's so damn big. So I'm assuming uh, our goal will be running up the stairs more, like, instead of dropping down for the bonfire. Yeah, we're kind of outrunning. Yeah, I think we'll pretty much go back to the area that we just came from and, like, kind of run past the fire as he throws it. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, luckily the area that he hits isn't as big. Pretty sure it's just like the the blacked out areas. Gotcha. I'm using my crossbow to kill the lightning throwing snake. <laughs> Catch it fast enough, I can beat them to it. Hell yeah. So it says I can use the great axe with two hands now. Uh, you can only use it with two hands. If you use it with one hand, then it won't work. 
Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Before it was saying I couldn't do it with two hands. Well, I think it was saying that you could, or the only way you could do it is with two hands. Oh. It's like unequipable unless with two hands or something like that. I'm gonna use this. It's a big boy status, so. Actually, it's bigger boy status, so that's where we're at right now. And I'm at 25. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'll just kindle and uh, put my sign down. Because, <coughs> yeah, as a summoner, I have half as many Estus flasks as I do when I come in. Ah. So if I have five, then I this Yo, my heavy hit is so fucking dope. Your strong attack. Yeah. Oh, I'll I'll show it. I'll show it when you get here. to summoning that NPC. Oh, for the boss fight? Yeah. Nice. Signs down, by the way. Oh, okay. By the bonfire. There we are. Summoning. strong attack yep okay so so normally it's just a big ass swing right dragon head nice yeah so that's drastically reduces the weapon's uh, durability oh should I not do that ever uh, you shouldn't spam it but you can repair it I believe there's somebody that sells like a repair box or something so you can repair it at the bottom how do I know what the durability is right now? Uh, when you go into browse items and hover over it, the other oh, symbol with like the armor and the sword on it. Uh, the black one. <coughs> um, you see the black twenty-four. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one next to it is how much durability or durability it has. Okay, gotcha. Normally it's supposed to have 400. Wait, hang on. Okay, it's at 300 right now, so I definitely do not want to do that. Yeah, so it does about 50 per. Actually, technically deflect them using that spell that like screwed up your game when oh. I used it. Really? Yeah, the force spell. Technically, if I time it right, I can just like destroy the boulder midair. It's not worth doing, but technically you can do it. <laughs> Oh wait, so we're g oh okay. Well, we're about to fight this guy. So on the top left where my humanity is, I see the the icon that says I'm online. Uh -huh. And then I see the three arrows because of my shield, right? Yep. Um, and then I see a blue shield with a up. Arrow, like it's like it's specifically a blue shield with a green up arrow, and then the yellow arrow. I think that might either be the dragon axe or the helmet. 
It's probably the Dragon Axe because I haven't had I haven't seen that once, and I've had this helmet for a while. Okay, then it might be the helmet, unless you put on like a different kind of ring. No, I haven't changed anything other than the weapon. So it's the it has to be the axe. You want to charge up a big attack? Punk. Fucking fool. He's got that box art status. Divine blessing. And rare ring of sacrifice. Nice. So with the uh, rings of sacrifice, they break upon use, but if you die while wearing them, then you don't lose your humanity or souls nice yeah, and I also know. picked up that guy's rapier yep Rickards or Rickards rapier yeah I believe the guy at the bell tower that showed up sells rings of sacrifice mm -hmm. for like 5,000 or something Stabbed. <laughs> Balder armor and a Titanite shirt. Cool. Yeah, it's the stuff I'm wearing. Is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Replace my sign. Oh, yeah, my defense would go up a bit if I wore it. So, oh, but my equip load goes like way up too. Yeah, it's a heavy set. Place my sign kind of you know where we fought the big guy the big guy the big guy with the mace and the giant shield oh okay over there yep i'll just have to kill him on my side before i do that <laughs> oh yeah you can technically parry that enemy type so it's not really worth it. Tempted to switch away from it because it's making clinking noises. <laughs> okay, kill the enemy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll place it down in that kind of like circular. There we are. Nice. Nice. All right. So do we go to the right? No, that's a closed gate. So we go to where uh, you got backstabbed? Yep. All right. There's nothing here. Rocking the Balder armor. Yep. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, 
because that basically kind of creates an elevator to the beginning parts of the level. Ah. Uh. Like where we fought that first snake on the bridge. Mm hmm. Yeah, it should be fine. Don't need it. Continue up the stairs. Yeah. Yo, Titan H shards for days. Let's go. Oh no. Oh, you're alive. I'll wait for you in the room then. Is there uh, any way to make that guy stop being a fucking dickweed? Yeah, we once we get to the top, we can kill him. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stealthy, you can do it. I'm rooting for you. Run. Oh no. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Just a little burnt. Just a little burnt. Only minor lacerations of the body. Alright, so that's the boss. And the summon is this way. Although first we should probably kill that guy. Up this oh, way. Yeah, probably. So he is pretty tough, so we should be careful. Just steer clear of that. Nice. Big boy status. Yo, a chonk. Wait, you could just roll into these? What are they fucking made of? Porcelain? Probably. What? Wait, really? Those? Are, I thought they were rocks. Oh, the biggest boy. Biggest boy. Great. It's probably going to go very poorly. I'm excited. Get a good look. Yep, there we go. <gasps> and you said the summon was through here? Yeah, it's through the side door. Across the bridge. Iron Tarkus. No chairs, no tables. This is not a party zone. But, oh, there he is. I was like, where did he go? So this guy has quite the reputation. For... Being a badass. Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, for betraying people? Or, <laughs> like, what are we talking about here? No, he's a, he's a one-time NPC that has a reputation for absolutely destroying this boss nice so if you want we can just sit back and watch him fight oh wait really yep he's gonna go Tarkus why'd you get hit oh I think he's following you maybe we should just run forward and get him introduced Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Tarkas! No! He took it like a champ, though. Yeah, really. Like I was about to say, 
if, if you get picked up by this fucking guy and thrown on the ground and you don't die from that, you're you're a king. Dude. Oh my god, he's like whooping him right now. Oh, and then I say that and he gets hit like a lot. Yeah, he does some big damage on he's staggering. Ah. Uh. Yo! Get. Walking forwards. Come on, hit him. No! no. Don't, don't come this way. Alright, there we go. We procced him back. I thought, I thought, uh, I heal M NPCs if I summon them. I thought too, but I guess not. Yeah, because I just drank an Estus and nothing happened. Oh. You like my binoculars? <laughs> yeah, where'd you get those? In the, uh, graveyard. Fire link. Should we... I was about to say, should we help a brother out, or...? If you want. <laughs> if you want, as you continue to look through your binoculars. Thick dodge. No, no, no. Back over here. I wasn't in the game, you probably would have killed him. Oh, because it would have, like, damage scaled? Yeah, I think the boss gets an extra 50% health for every summon there is in the game. Oh, wow. So before you press on that button in the center, uh, or did you already do that? Yeah. Oh, well, it's fine. Why? Oops. I'll just have to fight the golem by myself. I didn't know. I'm sorry. That's okay. The boss is actually really easy. Hence why Tarkus usually fights him by himself. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, I, I feel like when you mentioned the damage scaling thing, I feel like if, uh, if, if, there weren't three of us, it would have been. Yeah, because he like, was already doing like one sixteenth of his health in one hit. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so I, I can explore just in, in Orlando for a bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Is, is this place from Dark Souls 3? Uh, Dark Souls 3 has a kind of version of that place. All right, and the first guy I see is a giant big guy. Cool. Big boy. He is not friendly either. Well, I died, so. I believe you spawned in Anne Orlando. Oh, like wh right where it dropped me? Yep. And nope, uh, it brought me to Sen's Fortress. Oh, okay. Well, then you can help me with the boss. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm at the bonfire. Uh, you want me to... Here, I'll restore my I humanity can... real quick. I can make my way there. I killed the giant so it sh shouldn't be a problem. Alright. Cool. Now the 
restore my humanity. And it should be right by the door. Like in that bonfire area there. Okay. My summon sign disappeared. Oh, are you being invaded? No, I don't think so. They didn't say I was. Oh. Alright, there we go. By the door, you say? Yeah. Oh, now it's it's just in that bonfire circle area. I really hope I can get my souls back because that was fifty four thousand souls. <laughs> You'll be fine, as long as you don't manage to die on your way back up there. Well, right. I'm saying I. Well, you know what? We haven't died yet, so, like, you know, that's doable. Yeah, I don't see your sign, so. Um. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. It took a second for it to show up. Your summon sign didn't want hostiles. All right, let's do this, my brother. <laughs> you and those fucking binoculars. Yep. All right, down the stairs. Boop. Yeah, literally all it does is just kind of zoom you in a tiny bit and get rid of your HUD. I thought you said you killed that guy. No, or I killed the fire thrown guy. Oh, okay. That's the guy that was dropping boulders that were running us over. Oh, I thought he was the one throwing them this whole time. No, he was up there. I was like, no wonder spatially why it didn't make any sense. <laughs> now he's just lobbing them into that hole down there. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah the one all the way up there is just tossing them in there. Three, three throws. Yeah, right. All right, let's get you backstabbed again, huh? I was a cool bitch. <laughs> Revenge. Revenge. So there was a second one. Where is it? When I got killed. Is it further up? Second one? Yeah, like when I got killed in your world, there was a second Baldur Knight on my screen. Oh. I never saw him. Mm, must have been a weird connection issue. <laughs> the same guy spawned twice. Because when we were running past boulders, I saw two boulders. Oh, no. I did see that earlier, though, when we were doing the, uh, when we were walking by the uh, little turnpike thingy. That there, there were two boulders on there every time we walked by. This time, Tarkis can win. Yeah, right. Can we move, please? Oh, sorry. I, I, I thought... I, I was like, can we Can we not? Are we good? Player collision. So, if we just... If, if it's just you and Tarkis that walk in there, does that mean the boss only has health for you guys? I think it doesn't change anything although if you want what you can do is you can go over here like up the stairs and just watch from like the top oh wait really i think the boss fight actually plays out that's funny i'll do that okay. we can test that out but... if not i'll run and join you oh, there he is yeah he's a heavy boy takes a while to move Come on, let's start the show. Oh, yep, the boss fight starts. I wonder if the uh, the boss considers me part of the, the fight. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder if 
I can throw projectiles at it from there. You want to test it? Yeah, if you have projectiles you can throw. I don't. Oh, I have a firebomb. A second grab. Yo, this is like watching the Street Fighter at Evo. Let's go. And another command throw. Here. And another command throw. There it is. The fourth one. <laughs> the fourth one? If you're getting hit by four of them, you're not at Evo. <laughs> oh my god, this dude's getting fucking smoked. Hey god. Tarkus was way cooler. Yeah, right? What happened to... <laughs> this Tarkus is a fucking fake Tarkus. I don't like him. I'll come in to help too. What little I can. Are you just fucking with him? What the? <gasps> that can happen. What? So sometimes, if you're lucky, you can Tarkus can get the boss to do that stagger animation next to a ledge, and then just knock him off in one shot. That's so sick! It's a work of art whenever it happens. Uh, so it put me back at the bonfire again in my world. Yeah, so you'll just have to climb up and go to the circle. That's fine. Shouldn't be too tough. And I'll finally get to... Uh, I've been wanting to kick that archer guy for a while, so... You just kick him off the edge. Yeah. I haven't done that in a while. I've been wanting to. It's fun. Is this the Dark Souls of Physics? So. Um, okay, that was really scary, but I'm okay. Oh, if you want, you could actually equip the Ring of Sacrifice until you get your souls back, so that if you die, it kind of acts like a buffer. Oh, that's true. Okay. Um, Novel's ring. Uh, oh, but now I'm like ultra heavy boy right now. Just until you can get your souls back. Yeah. Well, I uh, I fell down, but I think I have a way back. Yeah, there we go. Now I have a new symbol. It shows humanity. Oh, that's for the ring of sacrifice. Oh, okay, okay. Are there people who do uh, big heavy boy slow runs? Like as a challenge run? Entire runs? I haven't seen that. Although for certain bosses, I've seen a lot of people just equip the heaviest, biggest armor they can and just like poise through the entire boss fight, just spamming R1. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm back. Nice. Back in Anor Londo. Explore. 
All right, skip cutscene. There we go. Or as some people like to call it, anal rodeo. <laughs> I'm 12. Those people being me. <laughs> Those people being me. No one else. All right, there we go. Got all my shit back. Get rid of this awful ass ring. Yeah, get fucked, you big ass bitch. Yeah, there should be a bonfire coming up soon. Good. I got seventy six thousand. Oh, there's two big boys in here. Okay. You can ignore them. Yep, that's what I'm planning on doing. Get away from those fucking guys. Um. To the right. That should be on the. Okay, to the left. On the right is the uh, elevator for progression. Aha! Oh, there's like a dude with a thing, too. Bonfire keeper. Alright, so let's, uh, let's do some leveling, huh? Oh, I can get five levels out of this. Of the 70,000 souls. Yeah. Yeah, I've leveled up to the point where I can now use the upgraded version of Lightning Spear. Nice. Although if I want to get it, I'd have to go all the way back to the Undead Parish. Oh. So I'll hold off. Ooh, reinforce my Estus? Oh, I don't have a Firekeeper Soul, do I? Uh, you said out the door and to the left? Uh, out the door and forwards. Okay. So that, like, kind of gizzy-bow-looking building. <clears throat> Yep, writing it. Yeah, once you get to the bottom, there will be a enemy, and pretty much on the stairs is where I can be summoned. Oh, there you are, gargoyle friend. There we go. Gargoyle's halberd. Nice. Is that good? I don't know if it's like statistically great, although it is pretty much just like a halberd, but it also gives you like resistance to like poison damage and bleed damage. Oh, nice. As does the rest of the gargoyle set. This away. Sorry, I'm watching the blood stain. Why'd you jump off? I can make it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it, Dad. I think 
there's a chest around here. There's two of them. Down there? Yeah. <sighs> you almost fell off. <laughs> Demon Titanite. Let's go. That's Pyog. The one I'm holding? The dragon one, yeah. Nice. I got two of those, so. Unless that weapon requires dragon skins, I forget. Just taking my time, taking my time. Oh. <laughs> um. Mm. Yes, Oh, I hate that. So that feeling is this entire zone. Wait, let me get this guy. Okay. Oh, no. He squeezed through. Yeah. <sighs> I wanted his item. I'm I'm greedy as fuck. Yeah, so this area in particular is like a speedrun killer. Yeah, I can see why. Fighting these guys on here, locked on, is a death trap. Yeah, yeah. So Wait. I'll just take, I'll take the lead. There's a... Sure. Watching this lady about to get bobbed. Hang on. Whoop! Whee! <laughs> okay. Okay. So is there a particular... Oh! What was that for? Ah. Uh, Eventually, we can go to the bottom area. So if we stay here. Yeah, seems like it's the one. Nice. All right. There we go. Yeah, the enemy at the end there has a reputation for flinging itself to its death. Good. Although, just in a second. This this seems like a good place to heal. Right. Crisis averted. Yeah, just take your sweet time. <laughs> no reason to get me the fuck out of there. <laughs> Be hasty. All right, that was too stressful. All right. So, is this boss or no? What the fuck? The person like leapt through the floor. So do I turn it? Cool. Can't believe we just beat Dark Souls. Did hit credits. 
<laughs> oh, Belgar gone. Where? Oh, there he is. Over there. Hello, friend. Well, my tail. Sonic, no. <laughs> Speed. Big sale. Ooh, shield and helm. Wait, hang on. Well, I already got the helm, but this one just has better durability, so I'll switch to that. Yeah. yeah, so now we have that direct route to the bonfire, so we don't have to go over all that stuff that we just did. Thank Christ. There's like a lever over here? What's that for? Uh, that's for if you move that area spinny thing up to a place where you can't reach it from here. Oh, it brings it back there? Yep. Garch. Basically, it'll just make some noise. Oh yeah, these guys are interesting in that their shield, if you hit it, it actually like stops damage. Oh, nice. I like how it's like a giant gate and then it has like a tiny door gate. <laughs> it's for little people. For regular sized people. Is there an item down here? I forget. I don't want to find out, right? Wait, hang on. You could check ch check the blood stain? Nope. Oh, that's just you getting smacked the fuck up. And then, oh, anything? No. Good. That means I don't have to risk my life going down there. <laughs> well, I can uh, deduce from the name that they are ranged warriors of some kind. Yeah, this area is also another speedrun killer. Oh, well, I found out about the archers. Yep, there they are. At least it's mostly a straight shot back, right? <laughs> back. So let's go grab all that shit. Oh, jeez. Beats me. Oh, yeah. It's just, uh, yesterday I was basically doing shit all day, so. I wasn't able to sleep until like 5 a.m. So, and even then, I only slept till like one. Doesn't sound like a fun time. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm dealing. Oh, cool, Vega. Oh, I went away. Did I not? Oh, so the gargoyles are perma dead when you kill them? Pretty sure they are. Nice. Uh, 
Oh, there it is. That should be where the first gargoyle is. Yeah, it ran to kill a vagrant that ran into the area with the elevator, which made my sign disappear. mistaken that like thing that you just ran across you know where it spins up and down mm -hmm. while you're on here you can't be backstabbed i think really weird and pretty sure it's in general on this area because when it spins it would like mess it up unless it's only when it's spinning Got him. Uh, can we not go through that door? Nope. Rotch. Yo, those dudes are worth fifteen hundred apiece. That's pretty nice. Yeah, this area is pretty good to grind. <laughs> and I help. Oh, I didn't even know there were three of them up here. Oh, <laughs> did you just knock both of them over? Yep. Yeah, those wings don't do them very much in the game. Yeah, I was about to say, that wasn't super helpful for them, was it? So, enter Orlando Archers, round two. Assuming we can get there. Yeah, I had to uh, quickly scroll through my different weapons until I had uh, Estus again, and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, there we go. At the end of the path is an item. Soul of a hero. I got your soul, Stealthy. You're a hero. I'm a hero. I think that's worth 10,000 souls. Nice. Uh, well, I couldn't move because there was too little room and I didn't, I needed to heal. I should have just backed up. Oh, well. <sighs> Good old Dark Souls.
At least that isn't like too far. Just a lot of walking. Safe walk back. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. So I can get there quicker. Place my sign by the steps. So, uh, other than Elden Ring, what is From Software working on? Do we know, or any rumors or anything? Or I think just Elden Ring. Wait, wasn't there an Armored Core thing that was happening? Oh, uh, maybe. I I know Front Mission got like a trademark recently, but I don't think that's From Soft, right? I know one of the guys who worked on Armor Cord said he wanted to work on something, but no idea if that actually came to fruition. Yeah, I've never played one either. Well, maybe I did. I know there was like one on the PS1, right? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that game. Is it good? It plays well. Don't know if I'll ever go back to it. That's fair. I enjoyed my time with it. Like a one and done kind of deal. Oh, did you say you put yours all the way at the front of the, where the gargoyle uh, was? I actually just made my way to the second gargoyle, you know, before the giant steps with the two giants on the sides. Oh, before there. Okay, good. Because that's where I am now. Cool. I just oh, took care of the giants, so. There's the gargoyle. Forgot about it. <laughs> just got to fight him. Ah, there's yours. Is your thing. I'll I'll wait to summon you if you want. Just a little bit more. Unless I die. Nah, I'm good. I think. Oh. Nailed it. Oh, okay, thank God. I I I, I thought I got summoned. Yeah, I, I thought I thought when you said I'm good, I thought that meant go, and I was like, wait a minute, he didn't actually say go. <laughs> it all worked out in the end. Holy shit! That's a one-hit kill. Yeah, the super, like, pounder move or whatever, that, that does one hit. Yeah, I don't not... know why, but these enemies have, like, a really low amount of recall. Whatever you would call, like, they easily get staggered to the point where they get pushed back, like, several feet. I kicked him. He didn't even react, but his physical model moved backwards and he just died. I don't think they have any poise whatsoever. Oh. Well, sucks to be them. Well, it seems like when they're in the air, they have more resistance. Round two. Round three. 
All right, no more disconnects. I wonder, once we get to the top, if I can just stay there and throw a lightning bolt at them. Yeah, maybe. If that'll work better. Than running up there to fight them. Nope, that didn't work. <gasps> that fucking son of a bitch. Yep. He fucking got me in the back and I fell off. Yep. These guys are notorious. And these guys. I'll leave my sign where the last one was. That's fine. Is there a way to buy humanity, or is that something you have to farm for? I think there's a character that sells it, although it's like 8,000 souls per. Oof. Yeah, once once we get to the next bonfire, I think we're good, because these fucking archer guys are getting me. Yeah, it's pretty much once we get around the corner, you, like, drop off. Similar to how we got to, like, the area where they're in the rafters. Mm-hmm. Just a door, a bonfire. Actually, uh, when's the next boss? Is it shortly after that? Uh, we walk around a little bit, kind of going through this massive building, and then get to the boss. So once we get to the bonfire, I think maybe like thirty minutes. Okay, we can go to the next boss then. At least beat that, you know. We can try at least. Oh, right, right. Make an attempt. Before uh, our uh, <clears throat> our connections die, you know. Ah, there's your symbol. Yeah, I'm currently just filling the weird wing things with the spears. That dude got staggered. I wonder. I have a spell that gives me massive damage reduction and, like, infinite poise. Could you, like, tank all the shots? Could I just tank the shots? I mean, it's worth a shot. Ah. Da 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 da. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> R.I.P. that guy. So we'll kill the gargoyles here and you want to test that out? Safety would probably be behind the pillar. Yeah. Alright. Go, friend. Nope. I still get staggered. Although if I block it, I'm not, like, flung backwards. Yeah, just a minor setback, right? I think so. this only lasts, like, 10 to 15 seconds, so... Doesn't seem entirely worth it when we can run. Once we get to the second, like, safe zone. 
then I'll try it. Ah, fuck! <laughs> Alright, these guys are a fucking prank. They suck. Hard. shield up in time. Although you could summon me again, because I'm not too far away. Oh, I am too far away. Yeah. Fuck! I, I was trying to get away from the guy by, like, weaseling my way around him. Uh, once you kill these archer dudes, are they de perma dead or? I think they're perma dead. Good. But even if they aren't, we never have to go that way again. So. Oh, thank God. Yeah, the Anarlondo archers. Worst part of the game. Yeah, easily. Makes sense. Fortress looks like a child's play. Yeah, right. Uh, let me check something real quick. I gotta stop using that one. Um, what's the, uh, what's the thing to restore a weapon's durability? Uh, when you are at the bonfire, does it say, or is there an option for, like, restore equipment or something like that? No. If you go into your inventory, do you have repair powder? Uh, I don't think so. No, I've never seen that. Okay. Because I forget which merchant sells it. Somebody sells a repair box. I think it might be the merchant all the way at, like, the undead break. Uh-huh. Although you can get a blacksmith to do it, and we're getting pretty close to a blacksmith, so. All right, good my sign where it was last time sounds good you know what though it's not too bad uh building up all these you know these souls that we're getting from these shitty flying guys and the uh the tank dudes mm -hmm. 1500 a pop isn't anything to shake a stick at or however that phrase goes i think that's it something like that Okay, now that I killed those guys, where is your symbol? Ah, oh, there it is. It just spawned. Yeah, it wasn't here when I walked by originally, so I was just like, hey, fuck these night guys then. Yeah, but this time I'll try using iron flesh before I go around the pillar. Mm-hmm. If you stay on the left side of the pillar, you might be able to direct the fire of the guy on the left side mm -hmm. while I deal with the one on the right. Alright, if, if that's 
something you're wanting to do. Yeah. You just jumped off. Going out on his own terms. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, Kirby. Alright, my souls are over by the guy on the left, so I need to head that way anyway. Nope! I, I fell off the roof. Oh, but the other guy did too, so it's okay. I killed the archer, so... Oh, that's great. Maybe he stays dead. Hopefully. I mean, it would make our lives a whole hell of a lot easier, and I'm running kind of low on humanity, so... I got a few spares if you need some. Right, we're good for now, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. All right, got my humanity. Gonna run back again. I'm sure, this is riveting to watch. For, for like the bot that's probably watching. I don't know. Just fell off a ledge. <laughs> oh no. How many? Okay. Oh, oh wait. If you die, or if I die, do you uh, still keep all the stuff you get from my world? Oh, okay. Whereas if I die, then I kind of get sent back to the bonfire. basically just this but like a boss fight Ugh. and it's considered the worst in, or worst in the series series i'd say series most would say game but yeah i think it's the worst boss in the souls games and you're and you're not talking just dark souls you mean souls born like all I of think, them i think in like the souls franchise like you know with the name souls at the end of it gotcha Ah, there it is. Summoning. Because once you get past, like, the gauntlets that it throws at you, you just kill the boss and that's that. But getting to there is a trial. There we go. I distracted him. Team takes the dream. So yeah, that uh that chunk of souls I got over there, I think it's like about fifty K right now. Yeah, 
You don't get the satisfaction of killing me. Yeah. You can't fire me. I quit. <laughs> exactly. Oh no. Ah. It's a giant dad. Oh, hey. do it again, do it again, do it again. Nice. So do you know about giant dads? Uh, what's a giant dad? A giant dad is a build that was essentially created by, like, forum users as the optimal PvP build. <laughs> what a fucking prank. And it's called the Giant Dad because it uses the mask of the father and the giant armor set, so Giant Dad. Gotcha. And, uh, by the way, both archers are alive, as you can tell. Yeah. And the Giant Dad basically took the well-what-is-it emote, like this, and oh, okay. made it their own. Gotcha. So, like, that emote is kind of tied to that build for most people. Gotta keep this guy busy. There. This one's dead. Fuck him. There we go. Yes. Yes. Finally. We're done. We did it. Oh, hey. Foster. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Yeah. about that okay <laughs> what are you doing are you pra practicing leg day yep. oh what is this one so this is where the i can't is. oh i i can't touch the grave lord whatever you probably shouldn't oh <laughs> even if i could i shouldn't Okay. Alright, so I'll disconnect. Okay. See so you can get to the bonfire. Yeah. So you wanna call it there or Um I can we I mean, can we go for the bus or oh you would have to go through the archers, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would have to do it myself. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's alright. If you wanna if you wanna attempt that you're we uh then we can keep going till we at least kill the boss that's coming up but if you don't want to we can just call it i mean if you still want to play you can just continue doing stuff on your own but for the stream it would be best if yeah we stop and then i do it on my own be ready for next time all right we can do that then uh i'll level up here get a decent chunk of health and yeah, that's looking nice. Okay. All right, but yeah, then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just call it here for then.